Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about the final game of the three-game set that concluded between, in my opinion, the two best teams in baseball, the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Tampa Bay Rays with a thrilling win in this game to improve to 39-16, and the best record in baseball. Dodgers dropped 32-22. and Dropped 2 out of 3 in this series, but it's no shame. I thought we played really tough, resilient in this series against the best team in baseball. No shame in losing the series to the best team in baseball right now because I thought we played tough and we had a chance to, even we had chances to win this game. Uh, but the Rays get a thrilling 11 to 10 victory. This thrilling offense all around. I mean, it all started in the let's get my score sheet here. The Tampa Bay Rays got one in the bottom of the first off of Gavin Stone, an RBI single to make it one nothing. So the Rays had an early 1-0 lead, so they got out early, started hitting off Gavin Stone. Gavin Stone wasn't good today. He threw too many pitches down the middle that were hittable for the Rays, and they took advantage. But they had a one nothing lead, but then the Dodgers in the second, in the second inning, Chris Taylor, who struggled this year, hits a solo homer. And then Max Muncy follows him up with a solo homer. They go back to back to give the Dodgers a two to one lead. And then Miguel Vargas with a sacrifice fly. In the inning as well. Or I, th I forgot what the third round was from. But anyways, the Dodgers had a three one lead after the top of the second. Um I don't know where the, where the other RBI come from. I know it was a two-run homer from Chris Taylor, I think. And then Muncy about followed him up, I think. I, I can't remember. This game started at like 11.30. And, and, but then the Tampa Bay Rays, the bottom of the second, they tee off for six runs in the bottom of the second inning. They just teed off on Gavin Stone. Not a good start at all for Gavin Stone in this in this game. Um, just what a bonkers game. Two hours and 53 minutes, 17, or 21 combined runs with, I believe, 28 combined base hits for 21 runs between these two teams. These are two of the best offenses in baseball when everybody's playing at their best. Because you have players for the Dodgers that hadn't really played good years. Taylor. Went 3 for 3, 2 walks, 2 RBIs. Thompson, 3 for 3, 1 walk, 2 RBIs. RBI single on a solo homer, a walk. Muncie, 1 for 2, an RBI solo shot before he left the game with a hamstring cramp or something. But anyways, yeah, the race scored 6 in the bottom of the second off Gavin Stone, just leaving too many pitches on the middle of the play. He ended, that ended his game. 2 points in his pitch, 10 hits, 7 earned runs, 3 strikeouts. So not, not what the Dodger bullpen needed at all. Just two innings from Gavin Stone. But the Dodgers then responded with four runs in the top of the third off. Fleming, a few sack flies, and then a few other RBIs from the Dodgers as well. Or, well, there was an air in that inning as well that helped the Dodgers get going. And got a few sack flies off of it. Rojas and Vargas each got RBI sack flies off of them. Vargas was 0 for 3, but Drew Walken had an RBI, and Rojas 1 for 3 with an RBI sack fly. So the Dodgers got 4 in the 3rd. The Rays didn't get 2 in the bottom of the se bottom of the 4th. Or they get 1 in the bottom of the 3rd. The Dodgers don't score in the 4th. Then the Rays get 2 in the 5th. So it was 7-7, seven seven, but a 2-run homer from Paredes gave them a 9-7 lead. But then the Dodgers respond in the 5th. Get 1 back. And then the 6th get two more runs on a Chris Chris Taylor and JD Martinez go back to back to make it 10 to 10 the game winning run was in the bottom of the seventh an RBI ground out from Wander Franco Freddie Freeman probably regretting that infield single from uh, Luke Rayleigh that cost the Dodgers this game but not blaming on Freddie Freeman at all this was just a really tough game just for Dodger pitching and Josh Fleming, 12 hits, 8 earned runs, 2 walks, 3 strikeouts, but he was able to go 6 innings where Gavin Stone only 2 innings. That was the advantage for the Rays. They didn't have to use much of their bullpen. Bickford, yeah, not a... Just up and down 
outing for Bigford. Three hits, three earned runs, two walks. He struck out four, but he gave up three K earned runs. Shelby Miller was a good out of the bullpen. A good scoreless inning. Gratterall, two hits, no earned runs. Uh, the earned run goes to Gonzalez. And El Monte struck out the side. So, maybe three or four straight scoreless zeros El Monte's put up. So, he's done pretty good these last few outings. Maybe El Monte's starting to play a lot better. Uh, but for the Dodgers, Bates is over 5. We need Mookie Bates to play better. Um, if everybody hit, hit, everybody was hitting good in this game except Mookie Bates. So we need more Mookie Bates. If he, if he got a few hits, we might have won this game. Freeman, 2 for 5. Martinez, 2 for 5, 2 RBIs. Taylor, 3 for 3. He drew 2 walks, 2 RBIs, 1 intentional walk, and 1 in that 8th. Um, Muncie, 1 for 2, 1 RBI. Solo shot for it. He left the game with a cramp. Vargas 0 for 3, but had an RBI sack fly. Same with Rojas 1 for 3, 1 RBI. Trace Hobbs coming to this game 0 for his last 40, but then gets a solo homer and an RBI single. Walked once and got another base hit as well. Barnes was 0 for, got robbed of a homer or at least a base hit. But the Dodgers offense, both offenses were really good. It's just the race bullpen was better with Beaks going. 1.0 innings and struck out two, walked one, but he struck out two. And Jason Adam, 2.0 innings pitch, four strikeouts, no base hits. They were going to have Fairbanks out there, but I guess he got injured. So Adam, had it go more than one inning this year, goes two innings and strikes out four and gets out Will Smith for the final out. So credit to their bullpen right there, three innings of scoreless relief. Um, Smith was 0 for 1, obviously pinch hit. Hayward 0 for 1, he pinch hit Altman 0 for 3. This dude's just striking out a ton right now. I know you don't want to send him down, but Jesus, he needs to change something at the plate because they figured out James Altman throwing the high fastball and getting it by him like Ballinger. They need, they, they need, they, I don't know if they need to send him down, but you need to get him better. Um, but for the Rays, y- Yonder Diaz or what, what, Yondi Diaz or whatever, 2 for 5, 1 RBI. Franco, 2 for 5, 2 RBIs. The game went in RBI ground at basically in the seventh inning. Brandon Lau, 2 for 4, 1 RBI. And a walk. Ramirez, 2 for 5. Paredes, 3 for 5, 4 RBIs. Uh, Josh Lowe, 2 for 5, 1 RBI. Siri, 1 for 4, a walk. Rayleigh, 2 for 3, 1 walk, 2 RBIs. Had that nice uh, catch at the wall. That was more, that was really the key, was you got. Diaz, two hits. Franco, two hits. Lau, two hits. Ramirez, two hits. Paredes, three hits. Lau, two hits. Rayleigh, two hits. You don't, But you don't get any hits from Barnes, Vargas, and Betts. Like, you get hits from their players in the lineup. But the race just out. Out. We're just better in the clutch than we were. But it, our pitching just needs to be more consistent. But I'm not going to complain too much because this is the best team in baseball. I'm proud of the Dodgers' fault. At least fought in these games and won one of them. I know losing town three is not the best, but it's only the regular season. We're still ten games above five hundred. This is against the best team in baseball with a really deep lineup. But four and six on the road trip, but we lost eleven ten. Now thirty two and twenty two. So we play. We go back home to play the Washington Nationals starting tomorrow in a th- I believe a three game series. But yeah. um... But the bullpen just can't keep can't keep can't afford to keep covering five to seven innings. But like baseball's a long season, but I think we'll be fine. Hopefully. It's just a bonkers game. But the Dodgers start playing, go back home, start a homestand against the Nationals, so it's all safe. So until next time, I'll Peace.